have you been reporting since you got here? Absolutely, 100%. Okay. I From the your, I'm seizing your phone as evidence. Are you really? I need it. I need your driver's license or any ID that you have. And if I refuse? Then I'll arrest you for obstruction. Is that right? And I'll be taken to county? Yes. Okay. Under threat of arrest, you're going to seize? Because I do not consent to a search and seizure of my property. You don't have to. So you're forcing me? Yes. I'm not going to answer your questions. If I you're do not consent me, to search and seizures of my property. On January 10th, 2024, Good Citizen was conducting a First Amendment audit at the Sedgwick County Health Department in Wichita, Kansas. Towards the completion of the audit, he had interactions with several police officers, all of whom were cordial except this one crazy cop. This Sedgwick County Sheriff's deputy shows up, escalates the situation, tries to conduct an illegal trespass from a public building, throws good citizens' Fourth and First Amendment rights to the wind, steals his identification, and later his cell phone. He left that interaction without being charged with a crime and only receiving a trespass warning. The one thing he did not leave with was his phone. Good Citizen's original video and channel links will be in the description of this video. We're starting once he meets this crazy tyrant. The full audit is just over an hour long and I urge you to click on that video as well in the links in the description of this one to watch his full video. And like I said, today he's at the Sedgwick County Health Department about to do a First Amendment audit. I hope it goes well. We will see how it goes. I'm are you Michael? Good, yeah. Okay, we're gonna go outside and have a conversation, okay? Uh, can we just have it right here? No. Why not? Because you've been asked to leave. Okay, so am I being trespassed under threat of arrest? Yes. Can I get your name and badge number? Deputy Norton D1940. Okay, that's all I needed. Thank you very much. Okay, we're gonna go outside and have a conversation. I'm not free to leave. Uh, am I being detained? Yes. Actually, really? What crime have I committed? Well, they asked you to leave and you didn't, so I'm investigating this as a trespass. I know what you guys are thinking. You can't be trespassed from a public place unless there's reasonable articulable suspicion or probable cause that you've been involved in a crime, misdemeanor, city ordinance, violation, etc. And that is true, regardless how states might want to skirt around the topic. In Kansas, can you be trespassed from a public place? The answer is yes. In Kansas, criminal trespass is a Class B non-person misdemeanor. Trespassing can occur when someone enters or remains on public property in violation of restrictions on access. These restrictions may be posted in a way that is likely to come to the attention of the public. They may also include restriction on public presence, intrusion, or permissible activity. So it's the same, really, as any other state. You have to commit a crime. You have to do something wrong. Good citizen did not enter or remain on public property in violation of restrictions on access. Restrictions on access, meaning authorized personnel, areas not open to the public, he's in the lobby, he's not going through any employee doors that say no trespassing. And if there were such signs, they would have to be posted in a place likely that the public would notice them. But regardless of that, there were no such signs. He's not an intruder. And exercising your First Amendment right while conducting business, he's there on business, is and absolutely will always be a permissible activity. So there's no legal grounds for the trespassing to begin with. If there's no legal grounds for the trespass itself, there's no grounds for a further charge of remaining after a trespass. Which means he didn't do anything wrong. So I can't imagine that this cop is going to try and get his ID. I need your driver's license or any ID that you have. I need your driver's license or any ID that you have. I need your driver's license or any ID that you have. Not the first time I've been wrong. And if I refuse? Then I'll arrest you for obstruction. Is that right? And I'll be taken to county? Yes. Okay. Under threat of arrest, you're going to seize? Because I do not consent to a search and seizure of my property. You don't have to. So you're forcing me? Yes. Okay. These cops are so dumb, they really need to learn about fruit of the poisonous tree. 
the moment a police officer violates any of your constitutional rights, any and all evidence after that point is negated and ill-got and not admissible in court. In this case, the bogus trespass is illegal and everything after that, every constitutional violation after that, all evidence garnered after that is also unconstitutional. It's fruit of the poisonous tree. But that's not what this whole thing is about. This cop just does not dig the First Amendment or audit. Stay tuned, you'll find more about that in a few minutes. Get that for you here. Okay, so you're being trespassed from this building. Okay. You can't come back Why unless not? you're explicitly told by staff here that you can come back. Okay, and is that because I broke a law? So what law did I break to be trespassed? You refused to leave when they asked you to leave. But that's a secondary offense. So what law did I break to be trespassed from the property? I don't know I was you, conducting, okay, hey, because I was, because I was conducting business. I'm not going to argue with you. I hope not. You already have my personal effects do you unlawfully. Do you understand that you're trespassed? If you're going to tell me that I'm trespassed, I don't understand why. So I understand the word, what trespass means. I don't understand why I'm being trespassed from a public government building. And if you a, can articulate it reasonably, then I would love to hear it. Just because it's a government building does not give you free reign to be here whenever you want for whatever reason. Okay, it I was conducting business. It may be a government building. I was conducting but business. But you're asked to leave, if you okay. don't leave, you're committing a trespass. That's not true, but whatever you want to think. Have you been reporting since you got here? Absolutely, 100%. Okay, I from the your, I'm seizing your phone as evidence. Are you really? I need it. Okay, I'm going to lock it. Okay, it's unlawful search and seizure. How do I get this back? You can get it back after they decide either they don't Who's need they? it. Investigations. Investigations? Yes. Can I get a number? Do you have a card? I'll give you a card. Because I don't want to, I'm not going to give you my phone. Yes, you are. Why is that? Because it's evidence. You my, asked for my ID, I gave you my ID. Listen, I'm not going to answer your questions. If I you're do not consent me. to search every, and seizures. Every, every, search and seizures. Every, search and seizures. So this is what we're doing now. We're just stealing people's all willy nilly. At this point, he hasn't even been charged with trespassing. He's only being told that from this point, he is trespassed. Illegal, albeit that trespass may be. And now his evidence, the evidence of the cop's bad behavior, has to be seized. No warrant, absolutely no probable cause. So what does the Kansas law say about that? In Kansas, police officers need a warrant or probable cause to search. An unreasonable search and seizure is one that is conducted without a legal search warrant or probable cause. This comes from Kansas Statute 22-2512, Custody and Disposition of Property Seized. Under this statute, it also explicitly describes the chain of custody for evidence. The officer seizing the property shall give a receipt to the person detained or arrested, particularly describing each article of property being held. Spoiler alert, no such receipt is given for the stolen property because thieves usually don't give you receipts for the they steal. And that includes these thieving cops. In fact, the only thing they will give him is an explanation. And that explanation is that if he wants his property back, he should call back in a couple of weeks and ask someone for it back. Must be nice to just make it up as you go along. We're getting close to obstruction. Do there's no, there's that? nothing to obstruct. There's nothing to obstruct. Actually, I need okay. to talk to the I need to talk to the officer there right now. Why? Because you just touched me and grabbed my phone. You didn't give it to me. There's no reason for you to have my phone. Listen, you don't understand the Constitution. I do. You don't understand your rights. And you're obviously just fishing for a lawsuit. Maybe you didn't hear that. Let's run that back. You don't understand the Constitution. I do. You don't understand your rights. And you're obviously just fishing for a lawsuit. You don't understand the Constitution. I do. You don't understand your rights. And you're obviously just fishing for a lawsuit. 
I disagree. I think that good citizens in this mess, because firstly, he understands the Constitution. In fact, I think he understands it in great detail. Secondly, I don't think I know he knows his rights, because that's the sole reason you just stole all his because he knows his rights. And if he went fishing for a lawsuit, damn, that cop sure bit. Looks like good citizen caught himself a tyrant tuna. And I might have just found one. So, this phone is evidence. You'll get it back when the investigation is decided to be done with it. If a single piece of that is deleted, I mean, you're shaking, you know. You absolutely know. Oh, it is cold out here. I mean, we can diffuse the okay. situation. You so came in here's, hot. Here's what I need. You're going to go wait on the sidewalk. So and I'm going to bring you a card it. with a case number on it and all the information that you I'm need. Please. When I come back, if you're not on that sidewalk, I'm going to arrest you for trespassing. I'm going to... Okay. You get a supervisor on here. I can with my supervisor before I spoke with you. I'd like to speak with the supervisor. I'll go on public property right now. So I'm yeah, not get on the sidewalk. I'll get back to you. I'd like the supervisor out here right now. I'd like the supervisor out here right now. I'm requesting the supervisor out here right now. You don't get I'm requesting the supervisor out here right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. I got one phone. He pulled out another one. So you're taking that one too? Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Are you taking it? I got one phone. He pulled out another one. So you're taking that one too? Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Don't you just hate when you're a cop and the camera's still running and you don't realize it and you get caught plotting to steal people's stuff just to avoid being exposed for the laws that you as a cop broke? And that's exactly what's happening. Now he pulls out a second phone shortly before his phone's taken, and they want to take that too. They want to take any recording device that can expose them for the thieving, lying cowards that they are. I was asked me to come talk to him. I said, you need to talk to them. Do you want me to go ask what they saw him recording with? Well, yeah. He was recording with the main phone the whole time that I was here. I hope you were paying attention to the last minute and a half. This tyrant's talking to other cops, and the other cop that you can hear speaking has been explaining that you can't just trespass somebody from public. And the building and the officials inside can't use HIPAA as an excuse as long as they have business to conduct. That business being filming or paying a bill, what have you. He even goes on to give an explanation of another person that went to the building to pay a fine. And when they came to pay the fine, they would film. And every time he showed up to film, he paid a dollar towards that fine. And this very cop explaining this had to escort him around. Even the other officer is affirming that this guy has every right to be there. But that's not going to stop this tyrant cop. He needs his fix. And he's going to get it. Here's the card 
you the case number on it, your name and number. You understand that you're trespassing here, right? I understand that you have unlawfully trespassed in some of the property. And you unlawfully detained me, and you unlawfully searched and seized my property. I just need to know that you understand that you can't come back here. I understand what trespass means. Are you done? You're dismissed. Okay, if you come back on this property without permission from somebody in here, you're going to go to jail. Okay. When do I get my phone? Where do I get my phone? How do I get my phone? You can call that number. It's probably going to be a few weeks. Where? A few weeks? That's what happened. Well, we're going to have to get a warrant for your phone to pull the evidence off. And a warrant for what? What crime was committed? Trespassing. Trespassing is a secondary crime. I wasn't committing a crime when you came in there. I was conducting business. I was requesting some... Okay. Was you're, you're not going, going to listen to anything, anything I say, so... If you don't have any other questions... And your body cam's on? Because I'm done. requesting that body cam footage. You, is your body cam on? Absolutely within your right. Remember that statute I brought up for you before? Well, this is the moment everything gets thrown out. Everything gets thrown out anyways because it's an illegal seizure of his property. That aside, it's very clear within the statute what the officer's responsibilities are for chain of evidence once property is seized. Now this cop is talking about getting a warrant for the phone. Well, sorry, the warrant was what you should have got before you seized it. But now in the present, he's saying to just call in a couple weeks and you'll get it back. Not how it works. Fruit of the poisonous tree, as I've explained. Once the property's seized, a receipt for the item must be given to the suspect. Another copy of that receipt must be turned into the magistrate or the judge presiding over the case. Good citizen didn't get a receipt. He got a goat yourself. And the next time, you better back the blue. Just bareback it till the wheels fall off. Can I get your name and badge number, please? So I'm engaging with you as well. What is it? Badge number? Okay. Okay, bye. I gotta get my car. Folks, you have rights. You need to stand on those rights. The moment you don't stand on your rights is the very same moment you give them away. People's outlook on liberty now is very different than it was 300 years ago. 300 years ago, it was liberty or death. Because if you didn't have liberty, there was no point living. In fact, 300 years ago, they had everything to lose. So that 3% was going to fight for liberty at all costs. But 300 years later, instead of having nothing to lose, people react as if they have everything to lose. They have low financing on a mortgage. They have a really good job that they can't miss. In fact, they drive the minivan for the soccer carpool. And it would just be super inconvenient to flex my rights. Rights aren't inconvenient. They're inalienable. And people are mad at the government for taking their rights. We gave them up long before the government took them. In fact, that's why they take, take, take. Because we give, give, give. We need to stand our ground, defend our Constitution, and stand up for all of our constitutional rights. Those who would sacrifice essential liberty for temporary security deserve neither liberty nor security. And Good Citizen was operating on those principles. He was not going to give up his rights for convenience. And the cops just weren't having that. They came across a citizen that wasn't going to bow down, that wasn't going to get on his knees. Well, you know how the saying goes, I'd rather die on my feet than live on my knees. All of Good Citizen's channel and video links are in the description of this video. Go check them out, tell them Accountability for All sent you, and that's the reason I stopped you today.